Hey guys, it's Greg here, and welcome to Headliner. Headliner is a fake news, aka CNN simulator. No, in Headliner you play as a journalist, and uh, your actions have consequences, or something like that. So, I saw this game, and I was like, this could be an interesting topic. It could be an interesting game. So, you know, let's play that. So, let's uh, make a new profile. So, I'm not sure if you play as a journalist or as a news company, but either way, uh, genetic engineering and civil unrest loom over something. You are the chief curator of local news channel. Okay. You are the headliner. Oh! Public opinion rests in your hands. Oh, God. I feel like CNN now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we can actually do a name and stuff like that. We are male because I have a penis. Uh, my spouse is female because she doesn't have a penis, or maybe she does, and it's actually an Andrew. Ah, uh, let's make, let's let's keep it as a girl. Why not? So my name is Gregory. Uh, my daughter's name is um Hank because it's actually a son. <laughs> I always wanted a son, but I got a daughter. No, it's uh. I don't know. Jennifer? I guess Jennifer. Tutorial un enabled and office shoes only. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Wednesday, six days before the festival. Good afternoon, Gregory. I will be your new Le Leon son. Le Lion. Le I don't know why to pronounce that. Uh, so let me say we are glad to have you in the Gal Media family. Well, thank you. Here, uh, here are today's story pitches for you to review. We will publish online immediately after your approval. You may approve as many as you wish, but we might have more restrictions later on. Remember, we need a hard angle to stick on, uh, to stick to. Whatever gets our readers riveted. Oh, and you are up for a promotion. If you can uh, get our ratings up, so make it juicy. Yep, this is totally CNN, Fox News, and all that media. Okay, click and hold left mouse on a paper to drag it around. Woo! Okay, let's do it. Uh, release it uh, to uh, put it down anywhere in the table. Let's put you here. Now drag, uh, drag it up to zoom. Okay. Shit. Release to snap back. Snap back! Uh, and I can... Uh, okay, so I can stamp them. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So, first, let's read it. Festival's coming. Are you ready for our biggest annual celebration just six days away? Here's a recap on how Galaxia became the first nation with a majority genetically modified population. I feel like that would be an interesting story for people. I feel like people would find that interesting. Boop. Uh, approve or reject all remaining stories. Tonight on G Gal News, the festival is coming. Yay! Okay, so we got this done. What's this? Purist an economic burden? Uh, as the uh, unmodified minority dwindles to a meager 7%, studies once again show their job performance lags behind. Is it ethical to continue offering them the same benefits and tax exemptions as the rest of the population? Are regular citizens a burden an unfair cost? Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna put all my approves over here. Uh, 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 approve or reject? Yeah, I'm gonna put put my approves over here and my rejects way over there. I feel like that would like I, I I'm a nice I'm a nice journalist thingy bajing. I feel like I want to not be an asshole. Boop. So I feel like this is discrimination against all the other normal humans. I know not everyone is a super genetic human like me and the rest of the population, but you know. They're still a minority group, and I feel like we shouldn't punish them. Unrest at our doorstep. Uh, Leary's officials expressed concerns over the amazing, uh, over the amassing of aggress <laughs> aggressive stand troops. <laughs> aggressive stand troops close to their eastern border. We will not succumb to provocation, stated President Cal <laughs> Calstro this morning. Galaxia cannot stand silent while our neighbor is threatened. Hmm. I feel like if we post this, people might get rallied up. And that is something you kind of want in defense of, you know, our our, our allies, I guess. So we're going to prove this one. I know. I know. I know. Tonight, I got news. Unrest at our doorstep. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, modification 101. From preventing genetic diseases to increasing learning aptitude and altering physical traits like eye color, here is a primer on how, you, uh, how embryo modification can affect your children. I feel like if this is an actual thing, he's he's a modification expert, so this person, Eric Katz, knows what he's talking about. I feel like people should know the dangers and the side effects and, of course, the benefits of these things. I feel like that is important. Tonight on Gal News, Modification 101. Okay, and this is the uh, last one. This is a staff writer, okay? Staff writer. Purest marriage discrimination. All Gary Golden wanted was to wed his sweetheart Jeanette Foreman. But a local minister refused to perform the ceremony on the basis of Gary's unmodified status. How can the modified majority deny basic human rights to already marginalized purists? Damn it! Why would you do that? Uh, personally, I, I, like, I know... I'm pretty sure y'all know where this is going. They are parodying something really important in the US, but I don't care. For me, it's discrimination sucks. Discrimination sucks ass, but I feel like, yeah, how, how can the modified majority deny basic human rights? We need to discuss these things. Like, I'm not saying we should change laws. I'm saying people should discuss these things. Now, where's that door? There it is. Let's go. Let's see what uh, what we did on the way home. Oh God! Oh, we can actually walk. Whoa, 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 whoa! And then we got hit by a car and we died. Oh, what's the show about? Uh, some minister denying a marriage? It was in the news. Crap! They can do that now. Nice. Can we go to the sex club? No. Okay. Dude, I'm so excited for the festival. What festival? Don't you follow the news? Psh, you illiterate. Shut up! <laughs> oh, man. That is actually pretty cool. You can actually see the consequence of your actions. You cannot tell my parents, okay? You don't flip a no. Because uh, I'm unmodded. I uh, heard even ministers. Blah, blah, blah. Shh. Okay. Holy shit. Where's our home, though? Can we go to the grocery store? Not shopping here anymore. The owner is unmodified. So what? They count the, uh, up the, your chains the same. Yeah, come on. Don't discriminate. Don't discriminate. Don't hate. Jesse, I'm worried about the conflict in Lyris. Don't worry, babe. I'm sure it will work out. No, we're all gonna die. Haven't you heard the news? It's not looking good. We're all gonna die, goddammit. We're all gonna die. And now we're at home. See? This is my impact. Home sweet home. Oh, God. Hello. Hey, honey. Hi, Dad. Uh, dinner's almost ready. How was your day? It was great. It was a great day. Glad to hear. Mine was a mixed bag. I heard this cranky woman today kept saying I gave her the wrong pills. I pointed at a prescription, but she kept saying, That's not what I got last time. Ah, uh, people. Maybe you made a mistake. I feel like, ugh, people. I know, right? I've been working at the pharmacy for half a decade. I know it inside and out. Finally, I had to call the manager, who pretty much said the same thing. She stormed out in a huff. Ugh, people are, can be such twats. <laughs> uh, language, young lady. Uh, mostly, people are grateful for their pills. Plus, the job pays well, and it comes with perks. My boss is really laid back too, been letting me take more breaks, having a hard time getting through the day. Same stuff as the past few months, few hours in my energy crashes, sometimes there's headaches and nauseas. Aren't the pinklers helping? <laughs> yeah, a bit, thank god for employee discounts, but I feel like it's been getting worse. Hmm. Take it easy, okay? Thanks, Gregory. Anyway, I was skimming your latest news articles on my break. Caught the piece about marriage discrimination. Can't believe your tabloid is supporting people staying unmodified. Marriage is just another establishment to chase us, another establishment to chain us together, really. I'm just saying the issue seemed a bit one sided. Well, it's New York newspaper, Dad, so you can publish whatever you want, right? Uh, it's more complicated than that. 
Yes, your father has responsibility to the readers. Gotta cover all sides of the issue fairly. Uh, I have to be unbiased. Exactly. And millions of people read the news and form opinions based on it. Are you watching, CNN? Are you watching? <laughs> I should stop the CNN jokes. Uh, things are getting uh, rowdy with the Galaxia uh, anniversary. Purist discrimination, modified health issues. Hopefully things don't escalate before the festival. Oh yeah, Tony and his bunch are making signs for us to march with. Don't get too involved in that stuff. You're graduating soon. Have you made a decision about your secondaries? Been thinking about it. Um, enjoy a bit of fun after stressful exams. I feel like that is a good thing. Sure, but don't forget what really matters. It's your future we're talking about here, young lady. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about something for the festival. Maybe a new set of plays. Going back to Pottery Mom. Uh, how is that coming along? Slow and messy, but it's fun. And it's good distraction from all my worries. Helps me relax a bit. Anyway, the food uh, should be about ready. Let me grab the pot. Uh, what are we having? Slow cooked synth beef roast. Mmm, my favorite. <laughs> oh, before I forget, can you pick up dog food on your way back tomorrow, Gregory? Thanks. Sure. All right, let's eat. So, I need to go to the grocery store. I need to not forget that. Oh, never mind. Uh, hello, Gregory. Great response to our publication yesterday. A bit on purist marriage discrimination sparked a lot of comments. You picked a strong pro-purist angle. Let's stick to that. By now, you might have noticed we have different colored clips for certain articles. Three red clips is an opt-ed where we uh, take a stance on an heated issue. So red is heated, okay. Uh, two blue is for info pieces, keeping the populace informed, okay. Red is heated issues, blue is information. And yellow is for feedback, outcomes of topics we covered before and our influence. Don't worry, I put a sticky note on your desk, you'll get used to it. Today we've got some stories uh, contesting for the same spot that needs to be filled. Uh, so if you see two stories stapled together, you must approve one of them. The other will be rejected automatically. Remember, a little controversy never hurts the ratings. Okay, uh, don't forget the dog food. Okay, on your way back. Uh, Op-ed, info, and report. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, this is a, this is a heated issue! Heated issue over here! Heated issue! Okay. Purist work benefits businesses. So this is uh, by Amy Schuler. <laughs> uh, she says, uh, she writes, New research by the Small Business Alliance shows that purist workers perform a mere 16% worse than modified, a small price to pay for increased diversity and fewer medical expenses related to modified only ailments. That is an actually pretty interesting one. And the other one is purist uh, workers hurt business. So like he here you can basically see they use the same numbers, but they have a different approach to it. So let's read the other one. The Small Business Alliance has revealed that the purest laborers perform 16% worse than their modified counterparts. That means one in five lost tips and returned merchandise, not to mention exponentially spread diseases due to unclean bathrooms. Can struggling business afford such a hit? So basically, this is where it comes to where you need to have your moral dilemma. You either use the same numbers in a beneficial way or in a negative way. So, what are we going to do? Seeing um, both are technically correct and none of them are actually fake news, I feel like we should always take the positive side because I feel like news, like mo majority news would go to the right one. But I feel like you need to not be a douchebag, right? Y you understand me? Don't be a douchebag. That's that's basically my, my, my things. Just try to be positive about things. Okay. Purist rights at risk. Recent refusal to wed a purist couple uh, by a, a local minister is quickly sparked national debate. The Gold Vila Crow trial is more than a uh, is more than a squabble. However, it's setting a precedent for our nation. Purists cannot be denied to uh, the right to marry. It's a basic human right. End of discussion.
And the other fi uh, one is modified rights at risk. Galaxia is struggling to support the unmodified minority, su uh, susceptible to 34% of uh, chronic diseases and providing less efficient, uh, uh, less efficient in the workspace. Um, with limited funding for social support, we need to uh, curtail unchecked expansion of the purest um, population. I am always for rights. I've always been for r people's rights. So, you know, shit won't change. I will say the positive message. Okay, let's take this one. First of all, uh, this is information, remember? Uh, festival is less than a week away. Fun family times are ahead, but the pro purist organization Clean Slate has, uh, has its misgivings. Will this year's event be just another example of unmodified discrimination? Here's an objective look at both sides. Also, both sides, I agree with that. Ty, uh, t uh, t uh, Tima Gr Grinspan arrives. The angelic tones, the pure voice, the catchy tunes. That's right, our beloved celebrity has arrived in Galaxia, just in time for the festival. Well, that's that's always nice, right? That is always nice to know. Is your grocer a filthy unmodified? Boycott shoddy workmanship and those who do not support our so uh, societal values. Here's a list of local groceries, uh, grocers refusing to modify their children, denying them a healthy and productive future. No, we're not here to shame. We're a news organization. War Illyris. Ag aggressive stand troops marched across the borders of our neighbor at 2.13 a.m. Last night. Mortar explosions soon followed in the border villages and thousands fled their homes in panic. How should Galaxia respond? Shoot us a message with your thoughts. This is juicy. We need juicy things. So, let's go. I know. Liars! Oh, come on! That's not nice! We are not liars! We're actually good news organizations. Dude, Tima Grinspan is, uh, is in Galaxia. Uh, I know, she performed at the festival, right? Okay, what does this say? Modded asshole? No, that's not- we don't need that! We don't want to stir up problems, fuck! Ah, shit. I can't believe they might take away our right to marry. People uh, will take it to the streets if that happens. Glad the media is supporting our views at least. Yeah, I, su I well, I don't support your views, I support the rights. Peace in Laris! Yeah, but- we all want that, but d don't be an asshole to the police. Ah, nausea again. I think I uh, might be modified rejection sickness. Ah, uh, don't say that. I'm sure it's the flu, I hope. Okay, let's buy some dog food. Picked up dog food. See you we're doing it. I just got the job. Congrats. So hard being unmodded these days. Yeah, I pulled some new studies published today uh, that ease, the, ease in on me. And Jesse, I think we should hold off the honeymoon in Laris. I saw the news, babe. Lots of destruction. Uh, all those poor people, where will they go? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, at least I'm saving people from not going to a war zone. <laughs> Hi, honey. Everything go well at work today? Can't complain. Glad things are going well. How was your day? No annoying prescription ladies. But it wasn't that great, to be honest. I had another bad fainting spell today. Maybe it's blow blood pressure. We just learning about that in bio. I don't know anymore. I tried cutting coffee and exercising more, but nothing makes any difference. Time to see a doctor, I feel like. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll see if I can stop by the clinic tomorrow. Maybe it's your mods. You had those done artificially after birth, right? It wasn't subsidized by the government back then, so my parents had to save up to do it later. What about you, Dad? Uh, I was modified at birth or I was modified later too. I guess I was modified at birth. Woo, just like me. We just learned in bio that birth mods take much better than post-birth uh, post ones. Hmm, maybe my issues have something to do with that. Guess I'll see what the clinic thinks. Anyway, how was school, Jennifer? Bio was cool, but we had a stupid surprise quiz in math, Ah, uh, 
<laughs> I remember those. I was taking advanced calculus at your age. That is how I met your father, actually. Your mom asked me for help, or I asked your mom for help. Yep, though I always expected he had ulter ulterior motives. <laughs> Dating is all messed up now. I read about the marriage thing in dad's news today. I read that too. Your tabloid is defending purists? Um, they deserve equality. I guess, but they choose to be outcasts. There's no reason to modify it, to not modify these days, especially with the subsi uh, sub sub subsidies. It's not about money, mom. It's about people's choice. Hmm, makes me wonder. What if I were unmodified? Would you still have married me, Gregory? Uh, of course I would have. <laughs> Damn straight you would have. Like you could even find anyone hotter than me. <laughs> but on the other hand, at least we wouldn't have this lady to worry about. <laughs> Bull, you know you're gonna miss me after I graduate and I'm gone for good. Speaking of which, have you looked at your secondaries yet? Yeah, the Opox Uni has an awesome biology program. Oh, that's one of the top schools, but it's a little expensive. We'll have to look at our finances later. But, but, no buts. Now help me set up the, the uh, set up and feed the dog. Gregory, did you get the dog food? Yep, here it is. Thank you. Uh, can, uh, can you also pick up dinner tomorrow? I'll be home late. Sure thing. Thanks, Ayn. Now, let me take this stuff out of the oven. I can't wait. I decided to experiment a little. Made beef and leek casserole over wild rice. Extra trees? Always. Okay, another great day, four days. So we need to make sure we don't fuck up the entire country. Good afternoon, Gregory. Decent rating so far. Drew some comments from our subscribers, but we can always do better. We have a slight pro purist bent, so let's pursue that harder. Uh, we got a few letters from readers, at least if you're curious. Perhaps we can make today's issue a bit edgier? Get some attention? I trust you're a quick learner. Remember, the articles with three red clips is where we build our angle, so be consistent. Carry on. Like, here's the thing, I don't want to be consistent because I'm not purist and I'm not modded pro. I am pro equality. Is is that difficult? Okay. Uh Foodalingus, have you made reservations? With the festival just four days away, most restaurants are already booked up. Here are a few tips for scoring some backdoor seats. I feel like that will be an interesting thing. Oh shit! It's a red one! Okay. Uh, call for curfew. Denison's watchdog group Safe City, uh, Safe Home urges the Galaxian government to increase city security. With growing unrest over the upcoming festival, states publicist Shirley Watson, we must keep our streets safe at night. We need more policing. Or the other one is, no need for alarm. The Galaxian Freedom Alliance dismissed the need for a stronger curfew. Times may be tough, explains group founder Wilhelm Bordeaux, but we shouldn't disturb our citizens with additional patrols on the streets. Uh, I'm, in real life, I would say the right one, personally. But that's just me. Okay, another red one. Boycott Modified Sandwiches. Joe's Slap House has introduced the Mata Witch, available only to modified consumers. Diligently crafted, explains CO Parks, um, designed to easily digest by the modified glute glora. Uh, flora, uh, d dietary concerns? More like an excuse for purist discrimination. Ah, I don't feel like we should publish this one. No publishing that one. Oh, it's in the reader note. Uh, the pure, purest minority is pleased with your messages. Keep, uh, keep up the fight, headliner. Can I, can I deny that one too? Well, I, yeah. Oh, I cannot deny it, but I, I don't want to publish that either way. Another red one. Team at grip span. Not who you think. Guess what your in uh, inquisitive Eric learned today? Our beloved celebrity might just be a purist. Tima, if those mods are real, show us your modding certificate. No, nope. no, nope, that's gonna cause discrimination. 
Yellow was reports. Okay, letter from our readers. Learning from the Laris conflict and all these people fleeing to Galaxia scares me. I'm not prodigious, but I have to work two minimum wage jobs just to feed my family. What? Oh, fuck. What if one of them is taken away by immigration? This is a valid concern. This is a valid concern. Oh, shit. Laris refugees need an asylum. Galaxia cannot stand ignorant to the cries of our neighbors. It's time to open our borders and let the impoverished Larians find a new home with us. Or the other one, refugee crisis uh, threatens stability. As droves of Laris purists try to cross the border, we must stop and to think before we let them in. Galaxia already struggles with unemployment and our hospitals are not equipped to treat so many unmodified. We cannot help others uh, at the cost of our own denizens. Personally, I feel like this is a very valid point. Like, ever you can help your neighbors if you want, but you need to think about your own citizens first. That is how I feel. So yeah, that was a great day. Let's let's head home. See, we're doing great. God damn it, it's still saying liars. What? Uh, what's the show about? Uh, open mic about drones and police states. Okay. Pure refugees, please help. No! No! <laughs> uh, what does this say? Modded asshole still. Okay, buy dinner. We bought the dinner! Oh god, there's a protest. Galaxia for Galaxians! Oh god, no! Close the borders! Fuck! Ah, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! That was not what I wanted. Great, now the Lair's Purists are uh, gonna come. Oh shit, I'm uh, already four month wait list for modification, blah, blah, blah. This is bullshit. Whoops, I kind of fucked up maybe. Woo, the curfew is totally getting voted down. Damn it, my son goes out way too much. Uh, maybe you should parent your kid better. Get wrecked! I work two jobs and a night shift. You think I got time? I don't give a shit. Don't get a child then. It's your choice. You you complain about people having the choice to be modified and not being modified. You have the goddamn choice to have a kid. You, you you're responsible, okay? So don't put blame on anything else but you. So, Jesse, I feel good about our marriage rights. Me too, baby. Hopefully we get to keep them. I hope so too. Hey Gregory, I'm starving. What did you get? Joe's sandwiches. Oh my god, I love you. Where's Jennifer? I was heckled by a bunch of purist protesters today. Can you believe it? They were hollering at me, apparently. I walk like a modified whatever that means. That's ludicrous. I know, right? People getting in their heads. By the way, Jennifer is at her friend's, probably up to no good as always. I worry about her, you know? She's so close to gradu uh, graduating, but all she's thinking about now is some stupid rally at the festival. Uh, we need to let her express herself though. I feel like that. Hmm, maybe you're right. I'm just afraid she might get herself into trouble. Heard so many people talking uh, on the streets. Everyone seems really riled up this year. Glad at, le uh, glad at least you called to keep the borders tight. Uh, we need to help them, but we need to put Galaxia first. Yeah, we've already got enough problems of our own. Anyway, my point is, things are so weird right now. I don't think Jennifer should go to the festival. It might not be safe. Uh, you worry too much. She should have fun. I wish you'd back me up more. I know I'm being a bit paranoid, but I want her to be okay. And she needs to focus gra on graduating. She has her mindset on uh, Oxbox, but um, we both know we can't afford it. What about scholarships? They're pretty competitive, unless the government offers some educational grants this year. Uh, I need something to take my mind off. Um, might, might do some pottery. Finish up the festive plates. I am excited to eat off them. Thanks. It's nice working on something creative with my hands. Let's eat first. I'm still feeling sick. Gotta stuff, uh, gotta stuff uh, something in my maw before I pass out. Yeah, uh, you do have the cutest maw. Aww. <laughs>